Hello, uh, my name is Ugan and I'm from New York City. Uh, just wanted to, I mean, uh, catch up uh, with the best UFC fight as a Tibetan that I've seen in uh, just two days ago. Uh, as Tibetans all over the world were anticipating the fight between uh, Salam uh, Tarke, aka Tibetan Eagle, and Gordon. Uh, we were rewarded uh, with, with one of the sweetest victory uh, uh, a Tibetan ever gave us uh, in in one of the high in, in, in into in one of the highest platform uh, a sports uh, fighter uh, would have known. And actually, I followed uh, Sonam Tarkela, aka Tibetan Eagle, uh, in a little over two years now since his first uh, since he first signed contract. Uh, with the UFC but then his entrance uh, into the US soil and fighting in one of the biggest arena in Las Vegas uh, and knocking uh, Gordon in 44 seconds uh, that, that became one of the third fastest knockout in flyweight history ever was something uh, so so mem memorable and uh, as I recall uh, the fight the two nights ago, uh, one thing that really touched me uh, was the way he entered uh, the octagon uh, under the tune of Agapema, the tune of Agapema. And that was so, so, this is exactly how he entered under the tune of Agapema. And that was so, so touching. Uh, in level that uh, it amplified the hidden pain of Tibetans inside of Tibet. Uh, whether we accept it or not, but it did amplify the pain inside of Tibet. And that was written all over his face. Even though uh, it was sad uh, to see him fight uh, with the Chinese flag, uh, but then his, his, his identity as a Tibetan was truly unmistakable. As Tibetans were lost, as Tibetans were lost uh, in, in, in utter joy and jubilation, uh, under the surface, there were, there were a few Tibetans who were uh, commenting and sending links that, uh, that, state, that stated that uh, Sun Tarkila uh, was actually uh, part of the elite military commando of the Chinese uh, army, and that uh, and that he is that and that his uh, group, uh, the the military, was directly involved in the demolition and destruction of Tibetan monasteries, and that uh, his group was also uh, was engaged in the recent uh, skirmish uh, that happened in the borders of the Dark, uh, ironically pitting one Tibetan uh, against the other. So it was so tragic, uh, sad and appalling uh, to, to, to hear this. And, and, uh, and just as uh, these people who were commenting were cautious in celebrating and embracing him as a Tibetan fighter, uh, so much for his military background, uh, my perspective uh, took, took, a, took, a, took a divergent turn uh, took a complete U-turn, first of total joy and jubilation uh, to a cautious uh, celebration. And then I came up to a perspective where I thought uh, that, where I thought that uh, Tibetans of a generation uh, cannot be blamed uh, for what he has become and something that was forced upon him. Just imagine that Sonam Targila, who is only 24 years old and the likes of a generation born inside of Chinese occupied Tibet, never ever having seen the light of freedom, never ever having known a free Tibet, never, having, never ever having known a Tibetan flag that is being banned inside of China, never ever heard their own national anthem, never ever heard uh, the history of March 10th and the 1959 uh, Tibetan Uprising Day that's being totally erased. Uh, never having uh, seen His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, uh, their temporal uh, spiritual leader, uh, in, into the internet searches that, that is being censored. 
And this is the kind of world uh, that he was born into and has been force fed, indoctrinated, brainwashed uh, Chinese ide communist ideology and his allegiance to the Chinese Communist Party is but is but being forced. So this is this is a perspective that uh, every Tibetan has to understand, uh, has to uh, not right away reject, but embrace uh, the, the realistic fact that 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 the environment uh, people such as Sonam Tarakila was born into. Uh, and that helps shape them into person who he is today. But one thing the Chinese Communist Party cannot do is regardless of what they do with Tibetans, uh, regardless of uh, whether they cynicize Tibetan culture, whether they erase Tibetan language, whether they, uh, I mean, uh, uh, force-fed, uh, I mean, uh, Chinese uh, language, Chinese culture, uh, the mistaken identity of a Tibetan being a Tibetan can never be stolen and that was truly 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 amplified in ways uh, that only a Tibetan that you and I can I mean grasp that only you and I can connect to and this was something so visible so uh, I don't want to politicize uh, this uh, fighter uh, he's just starting his career and he has so so much potential I mean, uh, knocking Gordon, a respected fighter, in 44 seconds, uh, with the with the power of power of a punch, only a thumper thumper eater can deliver, was 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 mind blowing. So I wish him all the best and many many more fights to come. And uh, I'm already a huge huge fan, and I'm sure uh, Tibetans all over the world uh, uh, will follow him uh, as a fan and uh, as a Tibetan too, and understand that uh, behind uh, uh, being a Tibetan, born into a system, uh, into an environment where freedom never existed, uh, and that is something, uh, I mean, uh, that we cannot outright, outrightly reject, and that is something uh, that should also help shape our perspective. Uh, that, is, that is my honest opinion. And uh, your, your opinion might differ, but that is my opinion. And uh, well, at the end, I wish him all the best. Thank you so much. Uh, Pugelo.